G'day with the traders. I'm Rory, I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warn Dogs. And Calvin. <laughs> coach of Calvin Ada. Not a happy boy, Roy. Oh, it's only round two, and round two, of course, is now finished, so there's plenty of time for you to get back in the game, Cal. Now, this week's scores, Warnie, you topped it again. Yeah, 94, cruising along all right, but Roy, you weren't too far behind me. No, I wasn't great, but I'm, I'm okay. So I was 1881, and I kept my rank at about 10,000, but it's better than I was this time last year. Now, Cal, why are you so disappointed? Oh, I'm very angry with a couple of my players, Roy. Yeah. Andrew Gaff, oh. for one. <laughs> My oh goodness, what's he doing out I'm there at the sure. moment? You've made a few errors though, Cow. Oh, a lot of errors, Warndog. A how's lot your, of your rust going? Um, big boy McElroy, not great, Warndog. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> He'll be right. He'll be right now. It was a, a very interesting round once again. We're sort of learning on the fly, aren't we? But the top scorer was Blake Hardwick. Now, he is yes. actually an option given his role at the moment. But yeah, he scored a 90 he, last week. 90 well. last week, and then he's gone and pumped out 135 with 15 marks and 27 kicks. Wow. Do remember, though, that Richmond do give up a fair few points to defenders, they so do. that is one to keep in mind. But low break even, you could ride it if you want to. You certainly could. Oh, geez, interesting. All right, now, um, one of the things that I did take out of the round a little bit, I've been calculating the total scores because they were down a lot last yeah. week on what we normally have. Yep. Mm. They moved up a bit, 40-odd more points per team. So that's a positive, but it's still 27 points down from our 2019 average yeah, per right. team. So it's moving in the right direction, yeah, though. We just didn't far. have the big beast scores no. like we have seen. Like no, 135 135s being the top score of the round, yeah. we're normally getting at least one or two, It'll you happen. know, 150-plus scores yeah, each week. Yeah, no, that will happen now. One thing you need to make sure at this time of year, if you're avoiding some injuries, your patch-up trades need to start with your rookies because that's where oh, yeah. all the cash generation is. Now, James Jordan was Look at unbelievable. That. <laughs> so he's gone up 75K. His break-even, though, is negative 39. So there is more growth there. Yep. And Errol Goulden... Same with him. He's gone up a heap, and his break-even's negative 30. How? So you How? need to have them too. They're my best players, Roy. Oh, I mean, I hear... <laughs> I'm there as well. Now, with so, your um, with your Caldwell worry, yes, which we'll talk about that. Oh, but yes. could you go with um, Tex Walker? Did you see him? He's a worn dog. Don't he's do eleven this. goals in two weeks. He's going to win the Coleman Medal. Well, <laughs> okay. So he's turned back the clock, and it's awesome to see Tex on fire. But that's probably not a break even that you chase. You just watch Tex no. and enjoy him kicking some goals. Yeah, you don't get him. In. But we do have Jai Caldwell who is injured this week, so he. Uh, Scored 49 with that hamstring injury. So he will be missing for a few yeah. weeks. Um, it's a must trade. So we're basically yeah. trading for a week in a week injury anyway. Yes. Um, yeah. Let alone the fact that a hamstring is a bit longer than that. So he'll be out of my side, Roy. That's forcing you two trades this week again. I got him in this week <laughs> as well. I'm having a horror run of injuries well, at the moment. Who but else yes. did you get in? Um, oh, Jaden Stevenson, <laughs> the most popular trade of the week. And if I am any part of responsible for that i apologize 100 percent. but yes i was very confident in him i saw him lay seven tackles the week before oh, did you i didn't know he was going to look like a wet rag this week he <laughs> wasn't good so <laughs> good oh That's the thing. unbelievable uh, but yes yeah, seventeen thousand people picked him up now cow your big issue though you talked about gaff there but oh, gaff. people are worried about some of these premiums that aren't doing what you want them to gaff is one but probably the biggest one is uh lucky neil oh out a 60 then a 50 this week not good he, he's plummeting in price yeah. which is going to be nice for us non-owners to pick you up cheap <laughs> later but don't rub it in do you have to not. hold these guys you got to hold those like and he copped a really, really hard tag from, was it O'Connor? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. And I think, an inexperienced tag, you'd call him. <laughs> yeah, you would. Um, little piggy Tom Mitchell cops it this week, though. That's so, it. yeah, you want to be really careful, especially when it comes to captains, Warren. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he's going to be real cheap for us all. So hold your premiums. Just make sure you're getting your, um, your rookies and all those cash cows in place. They need to be there. That's the advice. All right. Tune into the podcast. And uh, good luck this week as we get ready for the Easter round of footy.